Dominant. Good afternoon, everyone. We are Dominant. I'm Bari. I'm Victoria. I'm Denise Wu. I'm Carissa Chen. And I'm Matilda. Do you know that between 500 billion and a trillion of plastic bags are used worldwide each year? Therefore, our objective is to embrace a more environmentally friendly Earth by creating our own biodegradable clean wrap plastic as our excessive use of crude oil plastic is harming the Earth. Sure. Our hypothesis is that kitchen vinegar works the best together with water, glycerin and cornstarch to create the best biodegradable cornstarch plastic. Here are some of the apparatus that we use. Firstly, we have a pot with a diameter of 15 centimeters. Secondly, we have a gas stove. And lastly, we use a metal spoon both as a spreader and to put in the ingredients. Also, here are some of the ingredients that we use. Firstly, we have kitchen vinegar, rice vinegar, apple vinegar, and also glycine. Use of water in the measuring cylinder that we pre measured. Next, pour the cornstarch in and mix. Pour the distilled water. Mix these both together until they are well dissolved. Next, pour the glycerin. Remember to mix the substance before you proceed to the next step. And lastly, the kitchen vinegar. As you can see, we have a very milky substance. Now, we use the gas stove to maybe the home condition. Heat it up for one minute. Next, place the pot on the stove and start stirring. The precaution of this step is to stir one stir per second. When it's slightly gooey and translucent, you can stop now. Now, we will spread the substance with a metal spoon. Now, I'll present you the results in table form. The first table shows us the time taken for the plastic to break upon stretching. As you can see here, plastic made from rice vinegar takes the longest to break, which is about 4 seconds. We will show you the second table, the time taken for the plastic to dissolve in boiling water. Here, plastic made from kitchen vinegar takes the longest to dissolve. Here, our last table shows us the time taken for the plastic to burn. Here, plastic made from kitchen vinegar takes the longest time, which is about 32 minutes as you can see. Sure. The main problem of our experiment is that the results are never constant. Also, the methods that we use to spread the plastic are not the same due to the lack of tools that we have. Lastly, nobody has investigated on whether different vinegars used will affect the outcome of the plastic. The result that we obtain is that plastic made from kitchen vinegar is the most insoluble in water and the best water resistant. The solubility of plastic in water determines how water resistant it is. A weak plastic will dissolve in water quickly as the molecules in the solvent will surround it and break the weak intermolecular forces within the plastic. Secondly, rice vinegar's plastic is the most stretchable. We found out that if plastic of a high acidity is used, the end product will be a more stretchable plastic. This is because of the amount of starch present in rice vinegar that holds molecules tightly together. Lastly, kitchen vinegar's plastic took the longest time to burn. If vinegar of a high acidity is used, the bonding between the molecules in this particular substance will be weak, resulting in a weak and flimsy plastic. However, if vinegar of an optimum pH of 2.0, which is kitchen vinegar, is used, the plastic will have a stronger bond, producing an effective clean wrap that enables us to preserve our food for a longer period of time before biodegrading. We compare our experiment to research done on biodegradable plastic made from cornstarch. A symmetry similarity that we found is that initially, our physical properties was very poor as it was brittle and able to break very easily. A difference is that they changed, in order to improve their physical property, they changed their polymer to 51% starch, 17% PPA, 13% plasticizer, which can be glycerine, 1% formula height, and 1% ammonium chloride. But as we lack these ingredients, we try to improve our physical properties by weighing the ingredients that we had. Next, ways that we could have improved. As I've mentioned previously, 
can vary the ingredients that we have. We can also use agar as a polymer as it mainly relates the amount of sorbitol, making the cling wrap more flexible and durable. Or can we mix our starch polymer together for agar polymer. We can add more glycerin so that our plastic will not be so sticky. It will not be weak, it will not be brittle, but it will be strong yet tough. And it also remove the jelly-like texture. Next, we can also direct experiment on how sticky now the cling wrap is. As according to research, cling wrap must be of certain stickiness before it can be considered as a cling wrap. Okay, done an experiment, ensuring that it is able to cling onto smooth surfaces, thus remain tight over the opening of the container without any help. In this case, we could use glycerin as our independent variable as it affect the stickiness of the plastic. And lastly, we could use an equipment to spread our plastic. And this equipment will make our experiment fair and accurate as the force exerted will be equal. Compared as when you use a metal spoon, the force exerted will be equal. This is our product after a few hours. And this is our product after a few days. And after a few weeks, you get this. True. Thank you, judges. Thank you, judges. And once again, we are dominant. dominant.